Hello, hello, friends. I feel like it has been forever since I uploaded on this channel. I've just been really busy with some more like personal creative projects on my other channel, which I will link in the description down below. But today I wanted to come at you with an updated version of my day in the life of a self-employed massage therapist video. And I'm going to be bringing you guys along for all the fun today. I have a packed schedule. I have five appointments today. This is a Monday, and usually this is my busy day at work. As many of you know, I also homeschool my first grader. So before I leave on Mondays, I always set him up with a bunch of activities to do. I did that last night. I also made his lunch and got him all set for the day so that my husband doesn't have to take too much time away from his work day to help out. I got up this morning at about 7.30. I did a quick yoga and meditation session. Then I fed the cat and the dog and the kid. And now I am on my way out the door and headed to my office. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, my name is Sean Boskus. I am a licensed massage and bodywork therapist in the state of South Carolina, and I have been practicing for about eight years now. I am self-employed. I do everything 100% by myself, and I rent an office space in this building here, actually, the Greenwood building. So let's go check it out. So this is it, my little space. It's really the perfect size. I have this like desk slash office area out here in the front. And then you come on back here for the actual massage. So it's about 10.45 a.m. and I've already stained my shirt, so I'm killing it. I just finished my first appointment, which was a 75-minute NMT session with some Swedish technique thrown in there as well, a good balance of pain management and relaxation. And as you saw, I just got myself cleaned up. I'm about to go change the sheets on my table, which is what I do best, and get ready for my next appointment. All done changing the sheets. So earlier I mentioned that I have five appointments scheduled for today, but what I failed to mention was that one of them is actually for me. <laughs> so I have mentioned quite a few times how important self-care is if you want to have a long career in this field. And one of those things is actually getting body work and massages yourself. Um, I talk a lot about stretching and different exercises to do and yoga and things like that. And I've even talked a bit about spiritual and mental health and the importance of that in this business. But getting massages and having body work done is so, so important to taking care of yourself and making sure that you will last in this career. When I first started out, I did not follow that rule and I received very little body work, especially during my pregnancy, which was when I needed it the most because I was working and I was putting a lot of strain on my body. And I really feel all of that 
you know, in my body now as I'm working and getting further and further into this career. So I have put an emphasis on this and making sure that I take care of myself and that I go get my own massages. And what I do is just find another therapist. They need body work. I need body work. We just swap and trade with each other. So it works out really great. I have traded with a lot of different therapists over the years and I love them all dearly. But the situation I have set up right now is super convenient because the therapist that I trade with currently actually works right down the hall in the same building. So I'm going to run down there right now and get my own massage and then I will meet you all back here for my 1230 client. <laughs> so real quick, let's do a before the massage and after. <laughs> uh, looking really great right now, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm feeling really, really relaxed. That was awesome. He did a lot of work on my right leg and my knee where I've been having some trouble. So that's going to be nice going forward through the rest of the day, not having um, so much pain and discomfort there. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, isn't it horrible to get a massage in the middle of the day and then have to go back to work afterwards? And my first response is always, well, it's better than going to work not having... <laughs> just had a massage but also because I homeschool my son I'm only here part-time I only work three days a week so getting these traded massages in I just have to make it work with my schedule sometimes I'm able to do it at the end of the day or in the evening but other times I have to do it like this in the middle and you know it is what it is like I said I'd rather go through the rest of this day doing the rest of my appointments after having had a massage so it's actually kind of nice I'm just checking to make sure nobody's in here. Uh, my customer is getting ready right now, getting on the table. I'm about to wash my hands and go on in there and get started. But one of the questions that I get really often is like, what do I wear to work in? So as you can see, I'm just wearing a tank top and leggings. Um, my biggest thing is just being comfortable and being able to move freely in my clothes so that I can do my job well. Sometimes I'll wear like a peasant skirt and I'll wear it high-waisted with like a crop top or a tank top. When I first started out, I was really concerned with like looking professional all the time and wearing like scrubs or khakis or a polo or something like that. But as time went on, I realized that it has less to do with what I'm wearing and more to do with how I carry myself, how I present myself, how I speak to my customers and my actual actions. And so my customers are well aware that I'm providing a professional therapeutic service and that I demand a certain level of respect while doing so. And that comes across in all of those ways and I'm able to wear, you know, whatever makes me feel comfortable and able to do my job properly. All right, so I'm all washed up and it's time to get started with number two.
about to go back and change the sheets and get cleaned up and ready for my next one. It is about 2 o'clock p.m. right now, and my next appointment does not start until 4.30. So I'm going to head home, get something to eat, bring Soul to his Taekwondo class, and then come back and start that next appointment. Then we will be on our way. Changed my shirt due to the uh, coffee stain incident. All right, I just got sold dropped off at Taekwondo and I am headed back to my office. So it's about four o'clock or a little bit after. I have two more appointments coming up, one at 4.30 and another one at six o'clock. So today I've mostly done like basic Swedish massages, but I've also thrown in a little bit of NMT techniques where they were needed for pain management and things like that. But I would say that typically the majority of my work is in the pain management and rehabilitation kind of area using NMT and various stretching techniques like PNFs, you know, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, lifting up these big limbs and doing all these series of stretches and stuff like that. Also do quite a bit of manual lymphatic drainage using the Vodder method for various different health related conditions and things like that. And I am certified in prenatal and postnatal massage. And I'm one of the very few people in my area offering that service. So I do see quite a lot of clients who are here for prenatal or postnatal massages. And I do reflexology as well. So that's basically what I'm seeing on a regular basis and the different modalities that I'm using, but I'm actually looking to make a little bit of a shift and change some of my services in this coming year, which is something that I will be sharing with you guys about as I'm continuing to learn and grow and change always in you know a state of evolution with this business and there's so many different things to learn and even though I've been at this for almost 10 years now um, I'm still learning and I'm still growing and I'm still adding things to my toolbox and you know I'm finding things that worked for me maybe eight years ago when I started this business aren't working as much for me now with my schedule and through motherhood and homeschooling and all of the different things in my life um, and then just like where my body's at physically and what I want to be doing. So changing some of the services so that I can put less wear and tear and less strain on my body as I am getting older and <laughs> I've been doing this for quite some time. And because I wasn't as vigilant about doing the things that I need to do to maintain my posture and stuff like that in the beginning. And as I mentioned earlier, especially when I was pregnant, um, just not doing the upkeep that was required and still working and you know hunching over a lot and just poor body mechanics mostly um throughout the years it's really taken this hole on me so even though i'm 
striving towards doing better now and doing the right things over the past couple of years, um, it, it just catches up with you. And that's why a lot of people don't have a very long career doing this, you know? But I'm trying to maintain that because it is something that I love and I cherish and I want to keep doing as long as I possibly can. And so in the coming year, I'm definitely planning to change around and add some new things and take some things away and just kind of tailor my business back to what my needs are at this time. Okay, with all that being said, my customer will be here any minute now. So I'm just going to go back and make sure the room is all set and ready for her to get here and then get right into that appointment. So that one just ran a little bit long and I just got cleaned up and I'm cutting it a bit close but my other customer is here already and waiting and since it is after five o'clock the doors to my building are locked for security reasons so I am just heading downstairs right now to let her in and starting the very last appointment for the day. All right <laughs> so it is like 7 10 uh, p.m. and I just finished my very last appointment for the day. I am headed back here right now to change this last set of sheets. So that is that. I am all done with massaging for the day. Of course, I still have to go home and wash a bunch of sheets as I have to do most every day. <laughs> so the work is never ending, but just a few things I wanted to say before I wrap it up here. One thing I wanted to do is tell you guys how much money I made today and how many total hours of work it was. I did make uh, $250 today and it was about four and a half hours of work total. Now with that being said, my pricing is kind of all over the place right now because I have several customers who have been coming for quite a few years and I have them grandfathered into like older pricing. And then I have some people who are paying more and then some people if they come for like 70 minutes or 75 minutes I kind of adjust the price to that but that's part of what I was talking about earlier when I was saying I'm going to be doing a little bit of a remodel to the business at the beginning of next year one of the things I'm going to be doing is going up a little bit on my prices and just kind of balancing out across the board moving some of those people up and things like that so that I can streamline things a little bit more um, but also my rent goes up every year on my office building. So that's going to happen in September of this year. And I want to make sure to kind of adjust my prices to make up for that as well. And the cost of living and all those things. And it's been a really long time since I went up on my prices. So it is due. So I think that sums it up. I think that's all I've got for you guys today. I am going to go home eat some dinner, spend a little bit of what's left of the day with my kiddo, take a shower and go to bed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really does help me out. And if you have any other questions, anything I left out, anything you would like more information on at all, please feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. I try really hard to make sure to respond to each and every one and I just 
just love communicating with you guys there. Also, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for all the videos I have coming in the future on this topic, on owning a business, massage therapy, on being self-employed, and other holistic healthcare topics as well. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means so much to me. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. And as always, make sure you do something to take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you.